everyone, it's Fantasia and welcome to another mod related video. So this time I'm going to be talking about a bunch of different mods that all add so much realism for your game. So I love realism mods. I've done videos like this before and some of you guys have been asking for an updated one. So I'm going to be adding in clips of all the mods I'm talking about, but I thought I would kind of do a voiceover type of style because there's quite a few here and they're all very in depth and I felt like it would take a very long time. The video would probably be an hour. So I thought I would do it this way, but before we get into it, let's do our notification shout out. So this one goes to Lavender Moon. Star, thank you so much for the support. I appreciate you. This comment made my day. Seriously, you're the sweetest. And if you guys want a chance to be in a notification shout out, all you gotta do is comment down below. So you guys can probably guess the first mod I'm gonna talk about, and that's Realistic Birth. So this mod has just been all the hype lately. Everyone's obsessed with it. It's quite new. I've been doing so many videos on it. I've been using it in my Let's Plays. You know, there's already been two updates for it to add animation for twins and triplets birth. So it's just been so much fun. And there's gonna be even more updates coming out with like at home birth water birth you know and I cannot wait so if you guys have not heard of the realistic birth basically it just gives you a realistic birth experience instead of sending them to the hospital if you do have get to work by the way you do need get to work for this because that's what gives you the whole hospitals and all of that so usually with get to work you can go to the hospital have your baby but it's just kind of like a machine that's very unrealistic and like they'll like pull your sims heart out and it's like kind of weird and like kind of crazy which like the sims is known to just be like weird and funny like that but for realistic players sometimes that just seems a little too silly like especially if you're someone who does realistic storytelling so this actually gives you an experience where you have to stay at the hospital for you know up to two sim days and your sims literally in labor and the doctor can check how dilated your sim is you can get an epidural and that you they will actually give you an epidural it's not like 100 the same but still they put they do put a needle in the sims back and so I feel like it looks as realistic as it can and everything was just done so amazingly the mods by Panda Sama and I'm just in love with it and the animation is incredible the baby comes out and gets to actually like you know lay on the mother's chest and whoever is with them can comfort them put their arm around them and all that and just the expressions on the sims faces is like the most beautiful thing ever it's so precious and there is a blur so if you're worried about that there is a blur but you can also see it without a blur it's nothing crazy it's just if you don't want the blur in the way um, for photos or anything like that um, you can get mods that take away the blur but I'm just in love with that mod so that is the first one and the second one is the preteens mod another mod that is like relatively new that most people know about that's why I wanted to talk about these two first even though they're like more new I feel like everyone knows about it because everyone's talking about it right so um, the preteen mod basically is a mod that uses the teenagers to create preteens in a way so the preteens are basically basically like teenagers shrunk down and the body type looks a little bit different. The face looks a little bit different. So they just look a little younger and then they do get some like custom moodlets. They go through puberty, you know, there's actually going to be like a whole puberty set that comes out apparently or like a puberty add on pack. So right now, like the puberty is minimal, but they do get like different moodlets, like voice crack and stuff and they get dry skin and all that. Like they have to start using lotion and um, they do go to middle school. So that's really cool. And you know, there's like preteen related mood swings and stuff like that. And recently there was a first crush pack added and that's really cool. So it just adds like a whole crush system that's appropriate for preteens because the romantic category is actually taken away from the preteens because there's a lot of things in there that's just not appropriate for that age to be doing. So, you know, it's just like cute stuff. You can have a crush and you can follow them on Instagram and all that. I think it's so cute and you can go on like little dates, which right now is just a rabbit hole. You can either go on a date with like a group of friends or you can have a chaperone like your parents come to kind of just you know watch you and all that like I don't know it just felt so cool and realistic you know to how it actually is and yeah so eventually you know the whole dating system is supposed to be more in depth where you can go with them on dates and all that instead of them just disappearing and there's gonna be like a whole puberty pack added like I said and all of that fun stuff that one's by is Katato and just oh my goodness so good so good so the next one is actually kind of like a thing where I'm gonna be talking about a specific creator but you could download 
download from anyone who ever has these type of mods and that's just traits realistic traits there are so many out there like i said i'm gonna be linking a specific creator that just has so many and so easy to download on mod the sims and there's just so many good ones i feel like the traits in the sims 4 can be lacking sometimes especially when you make a lot of sims like me <laughs> or if you do storytelling sometimes it's just not there so like so some of the traits you can get from the creator that i'm gonna link is like literally things like caffeine addict um you can get arrogant alcoholic easily distracted curious confident things like that just i don't know i think it's it just adds more like your sim you can even make them be a cheater as their trait which like cheater <laughs> It's not something you usually think to like put as a personality trait, but it kind of in the Sims, it's kind of nice to have options like that, like caffeine addict, all that, because it can like add to your story, right? Like if you have a cheater storyline, you know what I mean? Then it's like perfect to give them that instead of like the traits you'd always give. Like, you know, I don't know. I just, I love traits like that. There's even like selfish and there's like stinky, strict tired the strict trait could be good if you wanted to have like a storyline with strict parents that could be a whole thing so yeah there's just so many traits out there so definitely just like google sims 4 custom trait mods but i'm gonna be linking this creator because there is so many so next up is the woohoo wellness pregnancy overhaul mod I am in love with this. This has literally transformed some of my Let's Plays at certain points. Incredible. Like there is so many different modules and there's going to be more added. Like I recently did a news video on this mod and um, I was talking about something new that's coming and I think it's out now. But you can add pregnancy preferences and different interactions. So your sim can have a preference if they want kids or don't want kids. There's also, um, in my modded Let's Play, um, my sim was able to do artificial insemination. That added like a whole new storyline. So there's different ways to get pregnant. You know, like if your sim just can't, you know, get pregnant, they keep trying. There's other things you can do, or if they don't have a significant other, there's just, I love that. And then there's also woohoo transmittable diseases with it. There's also different fertility rates, which I like, you know, and there's, um, there's the teen pregnancy module. So with MC command center, which I'm not talking about today because I feel like everyone has that. That's another good mod for realism because I mean, it allows you to control everything, but like you can also go in and like set different things with like woohoo and pregnancy and all of that. But yeah, with this mod, like if you you have MC Command Center and then you have this mod. There is like a whole teen pregnancy module and the parents can find out. And so like a pop-up will come up. It'll be like teenage child pregnant and you can like offer support or not. Like there's a lot that goes into it. That is so good for storytelling. And they can also get kicked out. Like the parents will have a reaction, you know, They'll either, either be super supportive and there through them through the whole pregnancy, be like freaking out and be like, you need to move out, blah, blah, blah. Like, I just think that would have been so good for me in the past with like my very first 16 and pregnant series. That would have added so, so much. There's also a whole cheating and being faithful system, which is super nice because I feel like with The Sims 4, there's not like enough with relationships. So this definitely helps that. You can even like, um, you can question your partner. Like you can be suspicious of anything and you know, they'll give you an answer. And then you can also confess to cheating. And instead of it just being like a quick little thing, like, you know, like, oh, you know, the Sims mad, whatever. No, like a whole pop-up pops up and like, there's actually like a whole bunch to it and like moodlets and all of that. It actually affects them for real. Another really amazing thing about it is there's a whole adoption overhaul. So the adoption system is completely different. There's a whole new thing. You can still do the one that comes in game, but I think the new adoption system is so much better. You will like literally disappear off your lot and the Sims will also be able to look for their biological parents, which I haven't played around with yet, but that is really honestly so in depth and I can't even believe that's in the mod. Guys, there's even more to this mod. I'm talking so much about it because it's so big. The mod is huge, but let's move on to the next one. So the next one is the base mental mod. Now, some people stay away from this mod. I'm someone who's had it in my game for like ever so long now because it's always just added a lot to my storylines. You know, I remember with my single dad life, let's play the father was an alcoholic and yeah you can drink in the sims like obviously but it's more like juice and i feel like if you're a realistic player you need like more moodlets and the opportunity for them to become an alcoholic or they can smoke weed um cigarettes all these different things and sometimes that's things people don't want in their game but when it comes to realistic storytelling you know, sometimes you're going to have a sim that is into that stuff or gets into that stuff, or, you know, maybe they even get 
a bad influence in their life and start doing that as a teenager. And I don't know, there's a lot of different story lines you can go with and you can even go to rehab with it. So that added a lot in my mod of Let's Play actually at a lot of points. And yeah, it just, it's like you get to connect with your sim and see them like if there's someone that did get addicted to something and then they go to rehab you know they can really go through this whole process and like just this whole self-discovery and healing process you know i really liked that about it but yeah or you can just use it for fun and have like the fun parts of it where you can have like more realistic moodlets for drinking you can get hung over and all that maybe your sim just has a fun night and yeah so next up, we're going to talk about wonderful whims or wicked whims. So these are kind of the same, but like one of them has less to it. So basically wonderful whims is where you can have everything from wicked whims minus like the sex stuff. So if you just want like the period system, the attractiveness system, that sort of stuff, um, you can still like, you know, your sim can still get pads, tampons. You can still, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. You can still get protection and all of that. So, um, if you want all that, that stuff but you just don't want the other portions then you can go with wonderful whims or if you want the other part i personally have wicked whims i just get the streamer mode blur and so if you want the crazy stuff happening in your game but you don't want to like see it like you want it blurred or if you record videos then streamer mode's perfect it was basically made for like streamers and like video creators so they can use wicked whims and it's safe so it just blurs everything and then you can just basically don't download any of the animations that's what i do anyway so i don't have any of the animations and i have the streamer mode blur on so basically it's essentially the same as wonderful whims the only difference is i have like crazy weird stuff happening in my game where sims will just randomly like two strangers will walk in the house in my sims house and just like woohoo on the bed out of nowhere or the floor and like for me that adds so much like like it makes me laugh in my let's plays <laughs> and it makes you guys laugh so that's why i have that Otherwise, I would just use Wonderful Whims um, because it, there's really no difference there. Um, and then there's Peeping Tom with Wicked Whims, which is also hilarious and so creepy and adds the most randomest things to Let's Plays. Um, but yeah, it's totally safe to use if you get the streamer mode and just don't download animations, then you're good to go. So it's kind of up to you which one you download. I can't link Wicked Whims, but I can link Wonderful Whims. And yeah, obviously Wicked Whims is easy to find. Um, so the next one is the Plum Fruit mod. So Plum Fruit is so cool. It basically turns all your electronic devices into Apple products. And if you're someone who likes Android, I think you'll still like this mod because just the way it is, I feel like it looks really good with the Sims 4 graphics. It just fits really well. And like the phone is so much better and everything just seems more realistic. Like your Sim can watch Sim flicks, which like it'll be the same as your usual TV, but it's just like all the names are changed. And I think it makes a huge difference. Like even um, there, I think it's called like gameplay center for when you go to play games, like everything's just named differently on the computer, the TV, and um, the phone just has so many more options. So it has the Simstagram, which is so cool. So it's like, it's so perfect for online dating, but you can also use it to make friends. And if you watch the trailers that was made for the Plum Fruit mod, like it's so cool. Like you can like swipe left, swipe right. <laughs> And um, yeah, so you, like I said, you can use it just to make friends or use it for online dating, but The Sims 4 doesn't have any online dating thing. And I feel like it's like the perfect one. There is other mods like the Sim to dating app, which I'm not talking about today because I've mentioned it like a whole bunch of times in the past, but I feel like both are great to be honest for online dating. But if you just want one mod that has like everything, the plum fruit has everything you're gonna want and you can even buy like, you can buy IMAX and it's pretty much just like making everything look different that's already in the game. You know what I'm saying so it's kind of cool the next one is really small but it's really realistic so i had to include it and that's the file tax return mod so this mod just literally allows your sims to file a tax return and they can either get accepted or rejected so they're either gonna have to pay money or they're gonna get money they'll pretty much just disappear off the lot and then when you get back you'll get told if you got money back or got money taken away and then your sim will have a moodlet either a positive or a negative one so yeah that's pretty much all there is to it super simple but it's something realistic to add to your game and it's kind of nice to like all of a sudden get unexpected cash that you usually wouldn't be able to get in the sense unless they get money taken away from them. I mean, 
<laughs> you can do it at your own risk. If your Sims broke, maybe don't have them file a tax return. <laughs> the next one is Slice of Life. So this is another one that I feel like most people know about, but it had to be mentioned. It's one of those mods that adds so much realism that you got to talk about it. Like how, how could I not include that one? That was my favorite mod for so long. And it still is one of my favorite mods. Of course, it's always going to be. Um, but now I feel like I'm so used to it in my game that sometimes I don't even notice it. Like, it's just become something that feels like it's literally a part of the game, which is a really good thing. If you like mods that feel natural in your game, then this will definitely be for you. Some people say they feel like it's too much, but I don't find that. I don't know if it's just my game, but I feel like my Sims, like, feel things at a good rate, I guess. Because some people say that, like, their Sims get things too quickly and, like, they're always feeling this way or always feeling that way. I don't know. I feel like for me, it's actually okay. I'm sure you guys all know about this mod, but if you don't, it just literally adds sli a slice of life. Like, <laughs> it gives your sims life. Like, literally, when your sims are pregnant, you can get different moodlets, like feeling baby kicks. When your, your kids can, like, lose a tooth and they'll get a moodlet for it and they'll actually lose their tooth. Little things like that. And then, um, you there's also, like, other options when you click on the slice of life. Like, there's a lot of different things you can do. There's, like, a whole health part of it. So, your sim can get sick from it. And then they can go to the doctor and get like a shot or they can just take medicine. There's like a whole like face mask system. Your Sims can do skincare, have a little face mask regimen and all of that fun stuff. But yeah, there's just so much to it. It adds like everything you need. Um, it even adds like different things with your Sims body, how they feel about their body. Are they insecure? Are they confident? Um, all of that, like it just, it's just great. So that mod's by Kawaii Stacy, And then another one by Kawaii Stacy is the tattoo shop. So this is another little mod but I feel like it's realistic and it's something that needs to be in the game and it's not so it's just a rabbit hole but it does make all the difference because they do get a moodlet basically you place this little sign down that comes with the mod you can place it like maybe in front of a lot that you get from the gallery that looks like a tattoo shop um and then they'll go and they can either get a temporary tattoo a permanent one or they can get a permanent um piercing or a temporary piercing so yeah you can get all that stuff and I thought that was really cool and like kids and teens even can go and get their ears pierced. I love that. Next one I want to talk about is the Sim Nation travel mod. So this allows you to actually get your license and it's really cool because there's like cars that come with it. But of course, you know, we can't like exactly drive cars in the Sims. So instead it's just like they'll own that car. And then when you click on it, there's different things you can do. So like you can drive, you can click drive to and then drive to a certain location. But yeah, you will need to get your license and everything. You can't just drive right away. And then like also teenagers can ask for drivers driving lessons or they can like go and get them somewhere. Um, so you can do that. And then yeah, your teen needs to learn how to drive and everything before they can drive. And then also if you don't have a car, you're going to need a subway pass to be able to like travel places. You don't have to get it. Like I have the mod and my Sims can still go places without it. But like, if you want that added realism, you can go and get them a subway pass so they can travel and stuff. And then there's also things with like a plane. So you can literally like book a flight and everything. <laughs> it's so cool. Like you can go on the computer, book your flight. And it's a whole like different way to travel. Like you can still travel to like, you know, I don't know, Granite Falls or something. But if you wanted to fly there, you can. And then you'll like get a moodlet for that. And then you'll have to like actually go and get your passport. So then you'll have a passport in your inventory. There's so many different moodlets with it. It's really, really cool. And there's also a new uh, aspiration with it. I haven't really checked that out, but I mean, it's cool that we get a whole new aspiration and then you can get like a reward trait and everything. So I think that's so cool. The next one is the healthcare redux mod. So this is another one that is just adding so much realism. I feel like a lot of you guys also know about this one. It adds everything you could ever think of when it comes to your Sims health. So this might be another one that you're like, no, I don't want that. But if you're a realistic player, it does add a lot. And for me, one time I was playing my current household and there was like, I mean, a quite a lot of kids in the fam bam and it was a pretty hectic family. And one of the children all of a sudden got a sprained ankle. Um, she was like playing in the backyard and there was backyard equipment and stuff like on the monkey bars and all that. And then, yeah, so all of a sudden she got a sprained ankle and then I was able to keep her home from school. And then that day she like took a bath and made sure to rest more, you know, lounge, lay in bed, all of that. And like, it was kind of like a different experience. Like all the other kids were at school and then she got to stay home. And I really liked that for the storytelling aspect. Like that wasn't even on camera. That was just fun to do off camera. And then like the mom kept making sure she was, she was okay that day and everything. I don't know. I really liked it. And then it comes with like all these realistic medications. Like, of course it's in Simlish, but you can tell like there's Pepto-Bismol, there's Tylenol. You can just tell what they are by how they look. And then your Sims can even get things like like asthma and 
There is some deadly diseases. However, I do have this mod in my game and I haven't had any of my Sims get a deadly disease. I think it's very rare. You can also get vaccinated for like a variety of different things and your Sim can also get like diagnosed with different things like anemia, anxiety, asthma, arthritis, um, eczema, migraines, seasonal affective disorder. Yeah, you can get like a whole bunch of different things. And then there's new allergies like bees, pet dander, and then you can get like seasonal allergies. So as I was saying, like the kids can get injuries like a sprained ankle from, you know, just doing things outside and stuff like that. And then there's also sports injuries. Another thing, sometimes your Sims need surgery and there can be like surgery required complications. So like your Sim could need their appendix taken out, their tonsils, things like that. Also for pregnancy, it adds more. So a lot of these mods have talked about add more for pregnancy. So this is just gonna add even more to it. You're gonna have to do prenatal visits. You're gonna have to get prenatal vitamins and that will help of course. And I don't know, there's just so many cool things with that. And then also you can like, you can sometimes have like more of a risk of needing an induction or get a C-section. All of that is also included. And there is postpartum depression as well. So there is multivitamins for toddlers, children, teenagers, adults, um, so they all can take them. They don't have to, but it's an option to take. So yeah, there's just so much stuff. You can go for doctor's appointments. Your Sim's not feeling good. You can book a doctor's appointment. They can tell you what's wrong and it's really, really cool. So there's that one. And the very last one is the dental care mod. So this is by the same creator. And so it's like, it works in a very similar way. You can make dentist appointments. Your Sim's can get cavities. Um, they can get braces. They can get their wisdom teeth taken out. And yeah, your sim will just have to go in and get their teeth checked, go for cleanings. Um, You will have to pay more attention to like the hygiene and stuff. Like you're gonna have to brush your teeth and all that. I forget to do it a lot and my sims are still okay in my game. So like, <laughs> it'll be fine. The good thing about this mod is like, well, both of the mods, Healthcare Redux and the Dental Care one, is you don't feel like you have to keep going to the doctor or have to keep going to the dentist, all that. You can kind of like play how you want to play, but you know, sometimes you might get pop-ups and stuff like that. Sometimes you might get told that your sim has like a toothache. So those options are there just for like more realism gameplay, but that was actually the last mod, you guys. See, that still took me quite a while to get through. <laughs> So that's why I wanted to do it in this kind of form. Um, I've done it before and you guys seem to enjoy it just with clips with me like explaining each mod. Um, and that way, if I can't show you something from the mod, at least I can talk about it and bring up the website throughout the video and just kind of put in clips that I feel like fit. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and I'm going to have all the links, of course, down below. You'll see a link to my website and then when you click that, like it will have the whole post with like all the mods organized. So then all the mods are in one post it's a lot easier. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys didn't know about some of these mods, then I hope you enjoy them. These are like pretty much my favorite realism mods. There's some more, but these are like the top ones. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys are all having an amazing, amazing day. And don't forget to leave some positivity down below. I love you guys all so, so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. The night.